Hello there. Today we have Kong Do, President and CEO of BioV, which trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol BIVI. Kong, thanks for being with us today. Craig, thank you for having me back. It's always a pleasure. BioV is at the forefront of developing innovative therapies for neurodegenerative diseases and advanced liver disease. Could you share with our audience the strategic vision behind BioV's focus on neuroinflammation? as a core target for treating Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. You know, we believe that chronic low-grade inflammation is the starting point for many things that start to go wrong in the body, right? Chronic low-grade inflammation is mediated by something called TNF-alpha, right? And it's considered to be the master regulator of inflammation. Whenever you start with TNF-alpha, it's going to produce more TNF-alpha to create more inflammation. It's going to create more APP, which leads to more amyloid plaques, and um, it's going to create insulin resistance and many, many other things as well. So that's why our drug candidate, Bezisterum, has been shown to be a phenomenal molecule, uniquely block inflammation at just the right place and right time. And that's why we believe it could be applicable for Alzheimer's, for Parkinson's, for long COVID, and so forth. You know, Bezisterum, which is your lead asset, Kong, has shown promising results in reducing inflammation and insulin resistance in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's patients. What are the key differentiators that set Bezisterum apart from other therapies currently in development for these neurodegenerative conditions? In clinical trials so far, Alzheimer's patients taking Bezisterum for just six months have experienced a 68% slowing of cognitive decline. And the number one safety concern was a mild headache reported by fewer than 10% of patients. In contrast, the FDA has approved two drugs, one from Lilly and one from Asai, that reduce cognitive decline by roughly 30% over the course of 18 months of treatment. And those drugs have significant safety concerns around brain swelling and brain bleeding. Now, I don't give you these numbers to give you a head-to-head -head comparison. That can only be done in one clinical trials. These numbers are purely meant to give you some comparative sense of the huge impact that we're seeing with Bezisterum in Alzheimer's. In Parkinson's, patients that were taking Bezisterum and the standard of care, which is a drug Levodopa, for just 28 days experience significantly greater motor control, particularly when they wake up first thing in the morning. Roughly a third of patients taking Bezisterum had control of their muscles first thing in the morning compared to those just given Levodopa alone, they could not move, could not get out of bed, which unfortunately is the problem that many, many patients now experience with just Levodopa, the standard of care for Parkinson's. Now, just to reiterate that, you say Bezisterum has demonstrated improvements in motor control for Parkinson's and cognitive function in Alzheimer's patients. Is that right, Kong? That's absolutely correct, yes. Now, looking ahead, with that upcoming Phase 2B in Parkinson's trial launching this fall and the Phase 3 Alzheimer's trial slated for next year, what are the next major milestones that investors and patients should be excited about? In Parkinson's, we aim to start enrolling patients later on this year or early next year and had top line data read out by the end of 2025. We aim to start the next Alzheimer's trial by roughly that time, end of 2025, and have top line data by 2020, late 26, early 27 or so. But in between then, we will also be launching a new trial in long COVID. We have received a $13 million grant to support this trial. And you may ask the question, what does inflammation have to do with long COVID, right? What does Alzheimer's and Parkinson's have to do with long COVID? It all has to do with inflammation. Recent work in the last couple of years have shown that conditions of long COVID, symptoms of long COVID are tied to inflammation, right? And this is a real problem because um, roughly 5% of Americans right now are afflicted with long COVID symptoms. And it's so debilitating that almost 4 million Americans have had to change their job or career trajectory simply because they cannot keep up with the work demands that they were able to do before. And this grant um, really goes to test the hypothesis that if Bessie Sturm can block 
inflammation, could it work for long COVID patients? Because nothing else works right now. So that's what we're going to go and do. We're going to go and see if we can make this work. That trial will start enrolling in early 2025, and the top line results is expected in early 2026. In summary, Kong, what is the essential value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in BioV right now? We, I believe we represent a terrific buying opportunity, an investment opportunity for investors who have a two-year timing horizon. We have in one drug, Bezisterum, a very unique in, um, modulator of inflammation. And as a result of that, Parkinson's patients have seen dramatically greater motor control. Alzheimer's patients have seen a 68% slowing of cognitive decline. And we hopefully will be able to show its impact on long COVID patients as well, offering a first therapy for those that, uh, who are afflicted. And I believe the clinical readouts that we will have over the course of the next three, two years will create great um, catalysts for investors. And I, I believe this not only because I'm the CEO, I'm also one of the largest shareholders in the company as well. And I continue to participate in the various fundraising um, efforts that we go through. It's a fascinating and compelling story, Kong. Thank you for sharing it with us today. Thank you for having me on to share our great story. Please go to our website and learn more, which is biovpharma.com, right? And you, everything can be found there. Thank you.